nothing wrong with the science here. Perhaps you mean a different thing than I do when you say science. <laughs> Okay, how's that? You actually had it right in the first place. <laughs> Once again, you've fallen for one of my classic pranks. <laughs> Bazinga. But I'm gonna be gone for three months. What if she doesn't miss me that long and she meets someone else? She does have a short attention span. <laughs> so I can't go. Leonard, you may be right. It appears that Penny secretly wants you in her life in a very intimate and carnal fashion. You really think so? Of course not. <laughs> Even in my sleep-deprived state, I've managed to pull off another one of my classic pranks. Bazinga. What are we having? Reconstituted Thai food. Did you bring the dehydrated low-sodium soy sauce? Yep. Check. Freeze-dried spicy mustard? Check. And flash frozen brown rice, not white? Uh, oh. Sorry. Not to worry. I hid it. <laughs> Bazinga. Cemetery. You know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> then have you ever seen my practical jokes coming, do you? There's just no pleasing you, is there, Leonard? You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her, so I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. No. This has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. I thought the bazinga was implied. What could she possibly be talking about for so long? Obviously, waitressing at the Cheesecake Factory is a complex socioeconomic activity that requires a great deal of analysis and planning. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's what you wear to an interview? <laughs> Come on, dude, we've been friends for years. Oh. Oh, pulling strings, are we? <laughs> Sheldon, for God's sakes, don't make me beg. Bazinga! <laughs> You've fallen victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. <laughs> Howard? Yeah? Your shoes are delightful. <laughs> Where did you get them? What? Bazinga. I don't care. <laughs> If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> Just come here! Bazinga. 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 Just come here! Bazinga. Bazinga. Bazinga! Bazinga! Thanks, Jordy. I'll take it from here. <laughs> All right. You people ready to have some fun? You have a basic understanding of differential calculus and at least one year of algebraic topology? Hey, right, here come the jokes. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! All right, and Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. 
stop saying coitus with everyone or just you? Everyone. Harsh terms, but all right. I'll just substitute intercourse. Great. Or fornication. Yeah, but that has judgmental overtones, so I'll hold that in reserve. So, how you been? Well, my existence is a continuum, so I've been what I am at each point in the implied time period. <laughs> You're just coitusing with me, aren't you? Bazinga. Mm. Okay, fine. Where is she gonna sleep? My room, of course. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! I have a two-part question. Go ahead. A, are you kidding me? And B, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> A, I rarely kid, and B, when I do kid, you will know it by my use of the word bazinga. So you're saying the two of you are going to be sleeping in the same bed? Yes. Bazinga. <laughs> okay, we've got power to the laser. I should have brought an umbrella. What for? It's not gonna rain. I know that, but with skin as fair as mine, moonburn is a real possibility. That's a bazinga, right? One of my best, don't you think? <laughs> That's it. Bye-bye. Bazinga! I have an override switch. I almost died. And I'm safe and sound in bed. Who's crazy now? You wanted me to have a boyfriend, Mother. Well, here he is. <laughs> have to sign off now. My hunger for Sheldon is stirring in my loins. Oh, yes. It's time for me to make love to your daughter's vagina. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. That went very well. Agreed. Amy, I find myself wondering if we should actually engage in coitus at least one time in our relationship. Bazinga. Well, it's not a competition. Oh, yeah, it is, and you won. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. I don't believe this. Yeah! Bazinga, punk, now we're even. Okay, kidding aside, Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. Shall do. Double bazinga, I do. Good luck following that. I think back <laughs> to all the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. Uh, I told him I'm addicted to pedicures, and he told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and she was my second cousin. <laughs> and the first woman you ever disappointed sexually. Bada Bazinga! <laughs> Your idea really helped me out. My white cone quantization paper's online already. The response has been amazing. Well, that's fascinating. I can't wait to read it. Yo, no, me as well. Uh, please email it to Sheldon at bazinga.biz. <laughs> Why dot biz? Because I just gave you the business. <laughs> and also bazinga.com was taken. Sheldon, well, come here! Bazinga. <laughs> Nice to see a busy couple keep the spark of bureaucracy alive. <laughs> Ignore them, Amy. They're just jealous because they'll never have a relationship as good as ours. Isn't this when he says bazooka or something? How about something a little more realistic? Well, Amy enjoys knitting her own sweaters, so I was thinking of getting her an all-expense-paid trip to the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting for the bazinga. So, uh, so what's going on? Anything new in the army?
Oh, did I tell you I got promoted? I'm in charge of three other guys in the kitchen now. Wow, my son the leader. Ah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. They have to do whatever I say. I made this one guy chug a tray of hot dog water. <laughs> uh, uh, why would you do that? It's called earning respect, Dad. I, I, I don't understand. Which part, earning or respect? Bazinga. <laughs> uh, it's from a TV show.